when you're too excited for Dark Souls Remastered, so you pre-order it in two different shops and forget about it. That classic blunder where you go from one store immediately to another store and to pre-order the <laughs> same game again. You know what would be funny? Is if two of us get Dark Souls and we put them next to each other <laughs> and it's just me! <laughs> classic! Prank legends. I get they're trying to brag. But, like, that just makes them seem really dumb. It doesn't really brag anything. Not to mention the, like, 10-step verification process <laughs> that is pre-ordering a video game in, like, a <laughs> physical copy. Hey, just emailing you to remind you you pre-ordered it. Hey, we're also emailing you to remind you you pre-ordered it. <laughs> no point. He was like, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> and then he goes to the store, and he's like, you have my Dark Souls, and they're like, yes. And then he's leaving that store, and he's like, what was I doing today? Oh yeah, I had to go pick up Dark Souls. Goes to a <laughs> second store. <laughs> Whilst carrying his original copy of Dark Souls. Yeah, they're like, they're like, hey, we have your Dark Souls. They're like, hey, do you have my Dark Souls? They're like, yes, what's that you got there? He's like... Dark Souls. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just accidentally applied at a strip club. Just clutching their resume, just stumbles through the door and just, oh, oh don't, bye, it just walks up. At this point, she's just gone too far. I mean, the windows were tinted. <laughs> she could have walked, it could have been any kind of store. See, it's not, I accidentally got a job at a strip, she accidentally applied, like, she just, that's a Craigslist response, is all that boils down to. That's, that's like, are you good at dancing? We're looking for dancers. And she didn't think twice about it. William snuck my phone and caught me in deep thought this morning. <gasps> Watching Bachelor in Paradise. Normally I delete these candids of myself, but I couldn't help but show off my lashes. Tee -hee. <laughs> Hashtag go naked. Hashtag lash boost back this month. What the fuck does that mean? I think the lash oh. boost is back this month. <laughs> <laughs> last, last one thing was missing. Is, it, is this another <laughs> multi-level marketing? It's hard to say, because she genuinely looks like she just got punched right before this. <laughs> like, William <laughs> punched me and took my phone and... <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's and then William walks through the door. Pictures of me afterwards. This is one of those where it's like, oh, cute little candid shot. It's like, no, this is a bad picture of you. Yeah. <laughs> Boy also, is the son. TV on the roof? <laughs> <laughs> Got one of them ceiling mounted. <laughs> Are you moving today? Tomorrow. I'm just packing up now. Oh, Sane, is there any way in chance you could help me? What? Can you help me pack for 45 minutes? My dude, we literally met once, and the three times you've contacted me, it's been asking me to do stuff for you. No, I'm not gonna move you out. Oh, shit, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to send you this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see the oops didn't mean to in this. No, you don't. He he said, oh, right at the end. <laughs> wow. I couldn't tell if you were doing a bit. I, I don't think anyone knew if you were doing a bit. We were like, uh, he literally said, I didn't mean to send you this. <laughs> Bro, can you bring beer? Can you get me some? And I toss you 20. Don't feel like carrying it. I'm walking low. Hello? Not cool. God damn, bro. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he's, he's really, he, he sound like an exasperated New Zealand man. God damn, bro. Yes. God damn, bro. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can I say yeah? Like, I'm not reading that out as yes. Just, it just doesn't fit. God damn, bro. Yes. I'm busy doing shit for the party right now. Shit, wrong person. <laughs> and for my wife, she's bugging. Texting like a jealous girlfriend. My bad. It's good. I feel gay now. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, didn't mean to feel gay. Oh? I don't get this one either. Am I just fucking thick? <laughs> what? Dude. Yeah, yeah, anytime someone Shit. says wrong, wrong person. person. Doing something they did not intend to do. Allegedly. Allegedly. So the first part, someone will have to read happy accident, but for the second part, we just need happy to. Happy accident. Perfect. 
Now we need to talk about how this girl literally looks like a sex doll. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna think about She has the face, body, and I guess belly button of one of those <laughs> fake no, sex dolls. No, the belly button looks huge from this hell. perspective. That's her, that's her charging port. Happy accident. <laughs> Happy accident. Happy. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? What? What are you doing? Yeah. Oh, I figured out what it is. It's that every feature on this girl's face is somehow facing the camera right now. <laughs> like the eyes are both like not even looking down. They're somehow the, pointed down. The nostrils are looking at us. <laughs> yeah. Like her entire brow, the entire top of her face is pointed. I'm freaking the fuck out right now. <laughs> if we don't move on soon, I'm gonna have a happy accident. <laughs> Girl, what is it with people called William? And oops, I didn't mean to. <laughs> I'll be William to to disparage no, any to comparison. A5. I'll be your blue boy, dude. Perfect, my perfect little blue boy. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna meet me at a hotel? No, not at all. Ha <laughs> I'm sorry, my friend took my phone and got on my Tinder. I apologize. Hi though, LOL. I had to uninstall oh Tinder because I got scared of the women on there. Oh my god, Will. Yeah, I had their bio. Yeah, that's it. The classic excuse. <laughs> <laughs> the only situation on Tinder that ever happens is either you message someone and they don't message back, or she messages you and you immediately question why. <laughs> She's like, hi! You're like, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> and then she's like, do you like cams? Wanna watch my cam show? <laughs> You're like, no! If you don't mind me asking, how big are you tits? And can I see them if you want to show me it up to you? Um, disrespectful. Sorry for that, I put my phone in my pocket, must have typed up that, sorry the text thin is automatic, <laughs> sometimes sorry. <laughs> Your phone texted all of that. <laughs> Fucking bad liar. I used the voice setting. My phone, it must have still been on. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, can I just pause and go... If it's the voice setting, must have said to someone else. <laughs> <Is that? laughs> Sorry, it was it was the voice setting. Cut to... If you don't mind me asking, how big are your tits? Can I see them? If you want to show me it up to you. Oh, hang on. I just got a text. Well, that makes no sense. You must be stupid if you think I'll believe that. Okay, sorry for that. I know I'm stupid. I did not mind to say that. Okay, I don't want to make it you mad. Last night was amazing. <laughs> oh shit, I didn't... Hold on. <laughs> 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 that went to... <laughs> Oops, didn't mean to. <laughs> Wait, Will, put it send. back, put it back, put it back. I'll, I'll keep that in. Probably. I didn't mean to send it. I was going to the wrong person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's great. You sent it to the wrong person. <laughs> that's why Will doesn't get these posts. Because he fucking does this. <laughs> he just fucking does this shit all the time and it's like, oh, people like make fun of people that do this? <laughs> This oh, wait, we didn't do the one before. We didn't do the one before. <laughs> oh, shit, you're right. We didn't even get to it. I had just assumed we did it. <laughs> <laughs> Last night was amazing. Hmm? Wrong person, LOL. I had amazing sex last <laughs> night. <laughs> right, Jack, you're doing the voice of the dog. <laughs> 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 this was actually an accidental picture. Genuinely didn't mean it, and I have an itchy chin, but I kind of like it. Hashtag accidental selfie. Hashtag insta fun. Hashtag insta happy. Hashtag insta cute. Hashtag follow for follow. Hashtag follow back. Hashtag Instagram. Hashtag alternative girl. Hashtag alternative chick. Hashtag alternative metal. Hashtag
Hashtag pissed flight. Hashtag pissed <laughs> man tattoos. Hashtag pissed girls. Hashtag pink hair. Don't care. Hashtag pink hair. Hashtag just me. This post answers every question I've ever had about why girls get pink hair. It's because it's hashtag insta fun. <laughs> the idea that you just excuse it as an itchy chin. <laughs> that is endlessly entertaining to me. Have you ever had an itchy chin, though? Holy fuck. No, Charlie, no, I'm 21 years old and have never had an itchy chin in my life. You're a, you're a lucky man. One day, kid, you'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> I've been itching my chin for 50 years. <laughs> I'm itching my chin right now. Now I'm itching my balls. <laughs> Being old is pretty much just a sequence of itching things. <laughs> Thanks, itchy chin girl. Also, have this photo of when I didn't realize before I was taking a video, rather than a photo, and embarrassed myself 15 seconds before deleting it. Hashtag Rick and Morty. Hashtag Rick and Morty cosplay. Hashtag Morticia. Hashtag Morticia Smith. Hashtag Morticia Smith cosplay. That doesn't really look like a cosplay, does it? It just looks like... A girl. Just a girl. So, She's actually about to get attacked here. It looks like the kind of wave you give when you think someone's waving at you, but you're wrong. <laughs> and then the face of disappointment when you realize. I titled this, Trying to Take Artsy Self-Timer Photo and Saw My Phone Slipping Off the Table as It Started Shooting. Hashtag fail. If it slipped, wouldn't the camera be at an angle? Or also, wouldn't she be a little bit more panicked? That's the kind of face when, like, the bus is just, like, leaving the bus stop and it's left without you and the bus driver didn't see you in the mirror. That's the face when you see someone falling off a cliff but you didn't like them much anyway. Hang on! I'm trying, Ron! Your hand's all sweaty! <laughs> Is that your British accent, sir? No, I just wanted to quote my favorite recent obscure Harry <laughs> Potter scene. <laughs> it's when he's trying to grab Ron's hand, and it's all sweaty, and then they just show them, like, slapping wet hands for a couple <laughs> seconds. <laughs> also, I took the worst pick while I was singing a Shania Twain song, and I also captured my reaction when I saw the pick. It took I mean, four least... separate photos of me laughing at myself. <laughs> <laughs> the only other caption I can think of for this picture is that don't impress on me much. What? Are all of these pictures going to be the text messages where people say, whoops, didn't mean to send you that, or they're going to be pictures where they were like, oh, I did, the camera fell over? Yeah, yeah that's yeah. pretty much the whole that, that fucking stuff, point. dude. <laughs> I don't like it. That's really, you can do that to Sorrow, every Sorrow, I want to do a different one. <laughs> Pick someone to read the damn That thing. one is going to be me. I'll read this I'm one. Going, oh, fine then! <laughs> 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 uh, and you can't use he's that out of control. because I said your real name. Ha ha ha. Found this pic on my son's phone. He snuck a photo of me. Too funny. Last night was so much fun. Boys had a blast. Until next year! Hashtag Halloween, hashtag Dorothy, hashtag fun times, hashtag XO. Oh my god, so candid. Didn't even know Redline was taking my picture heart. <laughs> Thanks, Redline. Definitely not posing, looking directly at the camera and holding <laughs> my crep in such a fashion that it makes it main focus of anything. No, she's trying to hide her face. She doesn't want the photo taken. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> what do you mean she doesn't want the photo taken? She didn't know it was happening. <laughs> Rushed back to the airport and passed out on the plane. I'm so thankful for all these amazing opportunities that have come my way. I'm pleased to say that I just landed in Josie. <laughs> Who took the pic of you sleeping? Lol, you took a fake sleeping picture, <laughs> No, was actually the person who sat in front of me. After I woke up, they told me about the photo, and I thought, I might as well use it. That's so fucking creepy. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you sleeping back there. Congrats on your success. The best part of every single one of these is when the excuse gets longer and longer. <laughs> You're like, yes! Give me more! <laughs> if he had just said yes, I took a, I took the picture, it would have been over. But yes! Feed us the bullshit. <laughs> this is this is an ex-girlfriend sharing an Instagram quote with a boyfriend. 
ex-boyfriend. When your ex says, you'll never find anyone like me again, tell him, that's the point, you idiot. <laughs> that's very nice. <laughs> I did not mean to send that to you. <laughs> Fuck yourself. <laughs> I didn't even mean to take this. I was pondering, nay, devouring the works of Stephen Hawking. <laughs> 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 when somehow, the Instagram app opened and took this pic of me. No idea how it happened. But I look cute, and I think Steven would like it. <laughs> does, that, does that little, like, um. chest, that little, like, kiss to the sky thing? <laughs> it's just like Stephen Hawking appears in the clouds. Somewhere up there, Stephen Hawking is telling me my Instagram post looks cute. Meanwhile, in heaven, Stephen Hawking is, like, trying to cure cancer or some shit. <laughs> They're like, Steven, we need you! He's like, I have to like these posts. <laughs> Ryan is in a relationship with Amber. Um, this is news to me. Sorry, my friend got hold of my phone. This wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan's a close to the mic kind of guy. <laughs> I'm trying to cash in on the Cotton Eye Joe market. Just anytime you can. Just like we are gathered here today to bet up me got that Anytime. Anytime you can sprinkle it in. Like uh like a uh, welcome to McDonald's, I gotta bet up me got that it, it is always applicable at any moment. Sir, do you know why I pulled you over? No. <laughs> <laughs> they broke him I twice do. now. Yeah, shit, maybe I do need to make more cotton eye jokes. <laughs> I took this by accident, but I'm not mad at it. So here you go. Bet I have to need to go. I have no idea what how that part even goes. I don't know any of the words to that song. Took this on accident. Crying, laughing emoji. Hey today. Hashtag accidental selfie, low. Ha <laughs> ha, this is what happened when your son plays with the camera on your phone and only three out of 70 picks come out the LMAO. <laughs> Those are the good ones. <laughs> yeah, you know, you can tell he's got that white balance down to a T. There's no, the way the light bounces off my cowboy hat really <laughs> captures my innocence. Do you guys want to do one more, like, little collection? It's like one five-part little thing. Yeah, and then I think, yeah. do you have any others we could do? Because I think we could whack out in 40 minutes, just like, a better one. I'm not saying this one's what? bad. So this is a bar that just decided to share this meme on Facebook. Roofies! Because women make better decisions when they don't make them at all. It's a bit of a shitty joke. I am not okay with this. I mean, I that, joke, that joke's Amin. a bit fucking dumb. Obviously, it is an awful joke, so if you move on to the next picture, you see people <laughs> start sending fucking... Uh, so I see you like to make rape jokes. It's a shame you think that it's okay. How would you feel if it happened to someone you loved? I can promise you it's crushing. I, I suggest you maybe do a fundraiser for victims of sexual assault. This is horribly unprofessional. I am so sorry. I left my phone out and somebody got on our business page and posted. I deleted it. Again, I am so sorry. Sure, like I said, maybe you should do a fundraiser for victims cause. That excuse is absolute bullshit. Be professional. Wow! Can't believe Bill Cosby hacked our page! <laughs> Jesus. Now <laughs> Bill Cosby venturing into the realms of oh. cyber crime. <laughs> <laughs> hacked into the mainframe! <laughs> Plug in the computer, zip zap, zoopity bop, I'm in! <laughs> I'm in. You guys are absolutely ridiculous. 
Same group of drama queens. Unbelievable. But I guess I owe you an apology. I'm sorry that I have a sick sense of humor. I'm sorry you're so sensitive. I'm sorry you lack a sense of humor. But they're simply jokes. Just jokes. Nowhere does it say we condone drugging or drugs. <laughs> and I have better things to do than banter back and forth on your ridiculous drama. I don't even know what a roofie is, <laughs> but I bet you do. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it doesn't even know what a roofie is. How did the joke make any sense to them if they don't know what a roofie is? Like, yeah. I have a sick sense of humor so I can make roofie jokes, but it doesn't condone drugging or mean I know what a roofie is. <laughs> I've got an idea. Let's all get drug tested and keep score. I can see it now. Me, zero. You guys, hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're off your meds, but I suggest you get back on them. Ladies and gentlemen, the world's most ass backwards apology <laughs> in the history of the food industry. You are disgusting. Official apology. Here we go, all right. I don't think that last one would have sat quite well with the internet. I am truly sorry that my posts were offending to some people. I posted them as sarcasm, satire, and for their shock value. Because everyone that actually knows me knows I'm not anything like that. We've always had good comments and likes. We've boosted our customer base and following due to them over the years. Until now. <laughs> <laughs> no missteps in the slightest. They were truly meant as jokes. Simply jokes and taken straight off of Facebook. The phone being hacked comment was from another administrator trying to stop the smear campaign. I am sorry for that. I am far from a rapes a racist, rapist, or any of the things that people are saying, and those that know me know better. Who's saying they're racist? We don't have all the details. <laughs> <laughs> however, no, there is no however. However, <laughs> this smear campaign full of threats of bodily harm to me personally and our staff, the accusations of bigotry, the accusations of me raping my daughter, oh my god. What? Yeah, this took a left turn. Uh, <laughs> racism, well, that's kind of big, that's kind of umbrellaed under the same thing. Uh, calling us rape it, that's kind of the same thing. Uh, the vulgarity used, etc. We're truly ridiculous and uncalled for. It's Especially by those who don't know me or my staff and are simply jumping on the bandwagon. That is what shows the true nature of people, not memes. <laughs> that's a fucking, that's a motto I live by. <laughs> yes, I posted bad jokes, but I've never in my life treated others or said the things you people have said to anybody. Ever. Except when I said that one thing a while ago about date rape. <laughs> Other than that. <laughs> sorry! <laughs> that sorry reads so aggressive. You should never, ever capitalize an apology. <laughs> <laughs> Try again another day. <laughs> Women are objects. <laughs> like, hey, you know, music was different back then. <laughs> it had a different connotation, you know? It's like, uh, you guys might not have, but have any of you watched Hey Arnold? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. You, you guys remember Dino Spumoni? 
Yeah, he's a good villain. Okay, Dino Spumoni was the greatest. He was the Frank Sinatra of that show, except he, like, only sang about domestic abuse. <laughs> so he literally had a song where he went, That wacky painting on the wall, darling pal, I'll smash them all. <laughs> it was literally all songs about just, like, breaking shit and hitting people. Why was he so aggressive? That was the music of the time, <laughs> baby. <laughs>